All right, so with the new channel, I'm gonna try to do a few of these vlog type series here. And I figured instead of just doing a, you know, normal like day-to-day, -day, what I do type shit vlog, I figured I would um, actually do a challenge. So last night was UFC 253, which was Israel Adesanya versus Paulo Costa for the UFC middleweight title, right? It was on Fight Island. And we weren't gonna order the fight, but we ended up ordering it at the last minute. And what had happened was, right, I had already started drinking with my meal prep and I was already three or four beers in when we decided to order the fight. So then more beers happened, some bourbon happened and it ended up being a pretty late night. So the idea for this vlog is, can cycling help alleviate a hangover? So if, if there's like five stages to a hangover, I'm probably a good stage 3.5 today. I'm hydrated now and I've got a couple of Red Bulls in me and some Gatorade and stuff, but I'm still pretty woozy, head still hurting. And I was gonna do just Zwift, but Zwift is hard and there's no fresh air and you're kind of locked in that position. I figured it probably wasn't the best thing for a headache. So came out here, Salado Creek Greenway, and we're gonna do some riding and see how it helps with this hangover. I'm already hurting. I forgot to start my watch back up after that last stop. The other thing too, I've got Strava going, right? But Strava and the Apple Watch are not, they don't match up. So I don't know which one's more accurate. I tend to go with Apple Watch because Strava is running on Apple tech. I don't know, maybe that's why I think that, but either way, I'm out here trying to sweat out this hangover and I'm obviously, my brain is foggy and I'm not thinking clear. So I didn't even start the thing. So we're about halfway. It's a gorgeous spot though. I don't know if it's halfway or not. Probably about five miles from where we started. But I just always like stopping here and then getting some electrolytes in me, fluids in me. But feeling okay. Just still foggy. A lot of people out today. It's Sunday. A lot of people out.
This is the, uh, the end of the Salado Creek Greenway. So this is our official halfway point. I wasn't sure if I was gonna come all the way up here. I was gonna see how I'm feeling. My head's still hurting. So the um, hangover is not cured as of right now. But it feel, I mean, I'm, I'm feeling okay. I mean, I just got a, it's a mild headache at that. I wasn't even sure if I was sweating, but then when I stopped, yeah, I can I can feel the sweat coming. According to Strava, I've done 13.6 miles, one hour, two minutes, 55 seconds moving time because Strava does do a pretty good job of doing the auto pause feature, 13 miles per hour. And I'm not, like, my, I know my heart rate's up, but that's probably due to the hangover, but I don't feel like I'm working exceptionally hard, or at least nowhere near as hard as I normally would. It's Kim Bullis behind me and uh, I'm not sure what this all is over here so yeah this is the end of the Salado Creek Greenway and we're gonna eventually do a video on this whole Greenway right start to end and it's start to end and as you can see it keeps going and I think the other is it Leon Creek Greenway picks up on the other side of Camp Bullis going out toward I-10 so I don't know we'll end up doing that one at some point too Lord willing, right? But yeah, this is halfway. Uh, other than the mild hang, hang, headache from the hangover, I'm not feeling too bad right now. Like a lot of the queasiness and stuff like that is gone. So anyway, I'm finished taking this break and head back. Might stop at a couple of spots I saw on the way. Get some video, some pretty cool spots. And I'm not sure, I think the Insta360 battery died. So I'm gonna go work on that. Uh, hopefully the visit to Medicine Wall will cure the hangover. It's cool man, those guys are crazy. Because I went back to the medicine wall, you know, I was adding a good 20 minutes or so onto the onto the rod. So I figured I'd take a break. I've got this uh, strawberry banana goo. Have that. I like their brand. I think it tastes better. But um, the science and sport energy. I don't know, I have some of them. I have to look up what the name of them is, but I think those go down better. Hope that makes sense. If you're a gel person, you'll probably know what I'm talking about. Cool. I uh, got a gel in me, feeling pretty good. Sun's like beating down though right now and it's, it's definitely warming up. It was nice and cool. You know, when we started today, I think it was maybe 80. And I mean, it's easily in the 90s now. And uh, feeling good though. I would say the hangover scale range, probably down to a 1.51. Headache still just a little bit there, but it's going away. I think the trip to Medicine Wall did it. I must say it did, even if it's not the case, but Anyway, it's so pretty out here. Like I'm trying to find a spot that's got a little bit of shade for the video like that, see? But I didn't bring my light. So hoping the video turns out all right. Also want to check out these microphones. So this is the GoPro Max and I want to see how the audio sounds on that. <laughs> but yeah, man, it's freaking gorgeous out here. I don't come over to this area a whole lot, so nice coming out and checking it out there's still a, like i'm surprised there's so many people out here this late in the day but then again when i was out here a lot over the summer it was it was way too hot at this time of day here it'd be you know 105 so it was out here it probably felt like 110 115 or something like that got the bike chilling over there i'll take it back to the car 
hopefully the hangover will be from 1.51 to like a 0.5 by then. All right, I'm gonna quit messing around. I'm getting eaten alive by mosquitoes still. And you would think this time of the day they'd be gone, but I guess there's just too many of them right now. And we've had a lot of rain, the remnants of that tropical storm that just came through here. All right, well, we're back, we finished. So we're gonna look at the Strava stats because my hangover induced brain forgot to start my watch a couple of times. Let's see, on the watch it was 29.21 miles, two hours, 40 minutes, 47 seconds. Average speed, 10.9, 1,605 calories. Average heart rate, 146. So on Strava, I don't have all the stats, but so it was 32.2 miles, average 13.3, two hours, 25 minutes. So the last time, Checked in, how was that? Like a 1.5 to one, I'd say I'm at a one to 0.5 now on my hangover scale. Mostly because like, I think I've replaced all my fluids. I drank a whole two liter bag and then another half. So, oh, plus the Gatorade and water, all that stuff. Still a minor headache, but not too bad. Anyway. So I guess to answer the question we set out with was, can you cure a hangover by cycling? And absolutely, you can. Maybe not cure it, but speed it up. How about that? Peace.